down there, but proceed with caution. What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here, welcome to another Division 2 build video. This one's going to be called the Corrupted Ninja Build. This is going to be something totally different, something fresh. Uh, get up close and personal with the NPCs, uh, dish out huge amounts of damage with an LMG, never having to reload. Uh, you guys are going to have fun with this one and get 125% bonus armor very frequently, every 20 seconds. So let's get straight into this build. The first thing we're going to go through is a detailed description of the specialization because it is quite important for this one. Uh, we are going to be utilizing an LMG and I'll showcase it right in, in, well in a, in a few seconds. Let's go through the specialization first. So the gunner specialization is very good for LMG builds. There are a few reasons for that. One of them is you get increased rate of fire on kill because we have high amounts of damage on this build. We can hit over 650k a shot to the head when we have our bonus armor propped. Uh, so make sure that you have all of this active. We generate ammo. We get weapon handling while not moving, which is really, really good. 10% weapon handling. Remember, guys, it's reload speed, uh, swap speed, accuracy, and stability. Accuracy is very important for LMG builds. So this is very, very good. On this build, now remember, all my builds are templates for you guys to work upon to adjust them to suit your own playstyles. So if you want, I would recommend putting a bit more weapon handling on your build. It would really help, especially hitting NPCs uh, a bit more accurately, especially if you want to hit headshots on PC. But on console, it's completely up to you. You can use the named LMG that gives you weapon handling. I will showcase that in a second because uh, I do have one on me. Also, we get killing enemies grant 10% bonus. It's not bonus armor. It is actually just armor. This stacks with a whole bunch of other elements in this build. Every time uh, we use an armor kit, we actually get uh, baseline armor 20%. So that's going to be 30% baseline armor and 125% bonus armor. So not only are we <laughs> really tanky because of all this bonus armor, but we will be able to dish out huge amounts of damage. Uh, you have to run around, guys. It's, you know, with all this COVID stuff, it's been difficult. We've been all been lazy at working from home. Maybe not all of you guys, but, you know, this is this will keep your agent fit, especially after what's happened this year, because you have to jump over cover utilizing the Ninja Bike knee pads, which gives us bonus armor, uh, but also... Uh, it's really it's it's a really fun playstyle if I'm honest. Uh, you get used to it. Uh, sometimes it, you may look at it and think, oh, that's a lot of effort. You don't have to do it. It's just 
if you want to use especially the belt fed lmgs it gives you an option now make sure you have lmg damage up uh, like i said before if you want to use a bigger lmg you can i recommend this one because the damage output from this one is one of the best in the game currently the dps so i recommend using this weapon it's quick to reload as well so you don't have to use the ninja bike if you don't want to i use the ninja bike knee pads to actually reload my weapon but get bonus armor to proc intimidate so that's something we will discuss shortly but make sure you have this unlocked if you want to increase the uh, magazine size of your uh, LMG. I think it gives you about 50 bullets extra. This is only for belt fed. So the one that we are using has a magazine. So this will not work with this. So make sure everything else is active. And also we do get 50% reload speed on every third reload, which is, which is good. But on this build, it's not going to be utilized as much. So make sure everything is active. Cool. So we're going to go through everything in detail. I think this time I'm going to give you a lot more options where you can change it up because there are quite a few variants that you could use. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is system corruption, which works really well with Intimidate. Every time we get we use our infinite armor kit, uh, we actually proc Intimidate. It doesn't last for too long, but here's where it gets interesting. So whenever we use it, we get 20% weapon damage and another 35% weapon damage. That's 55% weapon damage when we are nearby near an NPC and we have bonus armor which is huge, that's a lot. And we are getting 125% bonus armor through the Ninja Bike knee pads, 25%, and the Hackstep protocol increased from the backpack, which gives us a further, uh, from 50 to an another 50 to 100%. So that is a huge amount of utility from this build. That's why you're probably looking at thinking, 1.1 million armor. You would think I would be a bit tankier than rushing NPCs the way I was, uh, but that's where this build just synergizes perfectly. The damage and the survivability are really, really good. Now that's because we have that instant armor kit and a little bit of bonus armor from the knee pads. There is a cooldown, but the cooldown is actually not that much. It's every five seconds. So it's very, very good. You can have intimidate proc all the time. So when yeah, here's the thing. So we get the instant armor kit to proc intimidate. We also have the knee pads while this is on cooldown because this does go on a cooldown. Uh, it's on a 20 second cooldown, but this is on a five second cooldown. So we will be able to proc intimidate two ways from the knee pads vaulting and from the hack step protocol infinite armor kit, which we will discuss for in further detail shortly. Uh, but also it reloads our LMG. So when we when we vault, so not only will intimidate always be procced, but we have we, we instantly reload our unhinged LMG. Now there are a few other LMGs which you could actually use to fully utilize this. Uh, for example, this one right here, the M60. You can have 150 bullets with this, with the special modification. So make sure you go over here and you put it on. It will be. Oh yeah, it'll be here. So you'll see the specialization icon. It's 50 rounds, the large pouch. Very very nice. Then what will happen is you would shoot all the bullets, vault, and it's instant reload. And not only that, but you get bonus armor to proc intimidate. So you will be s smashing through NPCs. It hits like a truck, but it's completely up to you. Like I said before, this black market RPK is one of the best LMGs in the game for DPS. It's very, very good. It's The accuracy is decent. It just works. It's it's very a very mobile LMG, and I do recommend using it. You can use the Pestilence. It's completely up to you. There are a lot of options that, honestly, I've just put them on me if you guys want to have a look. The, the MG5 is really good. The problem is, is the RPM is a bit too much, and the damage isn't as high. Uh, so you're just going to be running out of ammo. That's what was happening to me when I tested with this weapon. Military L86 is actually my second favorite weapon. This is very, very good as well. The magazine size is a bit smaller, though, which is unfortunate. Uh, but the new reliable is one that we were talking about earlier. So if you're on console and you, you wanted to do a bit more damage, maybe you didn't want to put Intimidate on the build, you could put something like Obliterate if you wanted to. And then you get perfectly optimized, so 30% weapon handling. So this will allow you to beam NPCs from longer ranges. So we have a lot of options. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm using the LMG from close range. The reason is, is because we have 65 bullets critting for over 600k now that's just mows npcs on a whole wave of ads uh, without reloading just constantly firing it's a lot of fun and i think i tried it with the pestilence and i do recommend using it with the pestilence but i wanted to use unhinged now let's go through the weapon itself so 1.1 million armor we are not very tanky but because of the bonus armor we actually are so the RPK, what I've done is I've actually managed to get 60% crit chance, which is quite important for this build because the knee pads, the ninja bike, actually roll with crit damage and crit chance. So obviously it caters towards crit damage build. I think my crit damage is not, you know, immense. It's only about 90%, but it still helps. So we have 
plus 20 round magazine. We have just crit chance mods. Remember to go into your stats and make sure you're not underdoing it or overdoing the crit chance. So unhinged grants 18% weapon damage. This works incredibly well with Hackstep protocol, which we'll go through in a second. So we'll, we'll be getting 20% from the, uh, the gear set, another 35%, 55%, plus another 18%. So it, it is more or less a stacking of base weapon damage. So this is where it gets a bit deceiving. So my crit damage is 90%, but because my base damage is so high, it mitigates only critting 60% of your bullets. Because when you're not critting, you're still hitting hard. And that's what makes this build so powerful. And I, I hope you understand me when I say that. If you don't, leave a comment and I will explain it further. Uh, because remember guys, 60% of your uh, bullets are critting and 40% are not. But those 40% that are not are still gonna be hitting hard because of the increase in overall weapon damage from all of these elements. So damage to armor is what I have rolled there. We have damage to out of cover and damage to armor on this LMG. Two of the best in slot, which is very, very nice. Uh, Unhinged is a great talent, I do recommend it, but as I said before, we are losing 25% stability and 25% accuracy. But because this is a close range build, it, it really does utilize it well because normally you wouldn't be able to use Unhinged at longer ranges because you wouldn't be able to even hit your shots. But now because it's a close range build, it mitigates that completely. So, secondary weapon, I've gone for Emeline's Guard, perfect preservation. This gives us 24% um, armor back. Killing an enemy repairs 24% when it's actual headshot uh, over 5 seconds. So this will also further increase our survivability. So I do recommend trying this SMG out or just using normal preservation. It's up to you guys. Use whatever pistol you want. Let's go through the uh, system corruption gear set now and why it's so potent. So we have over 200,000 armor on kill with the 15% increase, which is very, very nice for the two-piece. Disrupt and pulse resistance. So remember guys, all this does is it decreases the amount of time you are pulsed and disrupted. It does nothing else. Uh, also, Hackstep Protocol four-piece replaces armor kits with an instant infinite use ability on a 20 second cooldown that repairs 20% armor. Now remember, armor on kill, we have 10%, that's 30% armor every single uh, time we get a kill whilst proccing this. And then 50% bonus armor, but because we have the backpack, uh, we will be getting 100% bonus armor and hides your nameplate for five seconds. In the dark zone in PvP, this makes you invisible. You are just an agent. Some people don't even know that you're rogue. If you want to go rogue and use this gear set, it can be quite potent, but I don't recommend using this in PvP. It's not that great. And a lot of people think it is, but we've done a lot of testing and I don't rate it that highly, but it can be utilized in the right ways, but it's not really something that I want to delve into. So increases total weapon damage by 1% per 5% bonus armor gained. So that would be 10% for the current uh, gear set. That is why when you use the backpack, it's so important because we are increasing it to 20% weapon damage, which is a huge amount. Like I said, the base weapon damage for this build is actually quite, quite high. So I have rolled armor and crit damage and crit chance on everything. So all my pieces have got crit chance, crit damage, because we wanna get our crit chance uh, up to 60 and then I'll get our crit damage as high as possible. Uh, but remember, it's a balance of crits and non-crits, which is, uh, that's why I think this is so potent in the damage side. I've also got weapon handing on the chest. So let's go, actually go through the gear set first. So the holster is going to have crit chance, weapon damage. The gloves are going to have weapon damage, crit chance, and then the bag where it gets interesting. Now, this increases it to 100% bonus armor, which is a necessity if you ask me it really does that's double so we are getting not only more armor but more weapon damage which is very very nice i do recommend using this it's just a great combination so the chest piece we have obviously got a petrov defense for 10 percent lmg damage if you wanted to use a different weapon just change this out if you want to use an assault rifle fenris grupo if you want more crit it's completely up to you then we have got weapon handling which is not a bad thing at all crit damage, weapon damage, and then all of my modifications are all critical hit damage mods, uh, or maybe one crit chance just to get it up to 60, like I said before, go to your stats and make sure you're not underdoing it or overdoing it. Intimidate, while you have bonus armor, which we will be getting very easily, uh, amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So that's why everything works when we get up close and personal with the ads. All right, so the knee pads. 
So we've got the Ninja Bike Knee Pads. 15% weapon damage, 6% crit chance, 12% critical hit damage. You get these from the Dark Zone uh, Parkour. I'm not sure if they've actually updated that. If you can get it out on the outside world, they keep changing it. But I'm, from what I believe, how I got mine was from the Dark Zone. Performing a cover to cover or vaulting reloads. Your drawn weapon and grants 25% bonus armor for 5 seconds. So, let's go through these statistics and I'll give an overall, just a quick uh, description again of the build so that you guys understand what I'm doing. So, I am using the decoy. You can mod it with whatever modifications you want. This helps uh, aggravate the NPCs towards the decoy rather than me so I can get up near them. The Defender drone is very, very nice. It mitigates the damage dealt to me and I really do recommend it. I've been using it a lot lately rather than the shield because you cannot use a shield with this. So just make sure you use this. It's completely up to you. You can use a Reviver Hive, whatever skill you want, guys. It doesn't really matter. Then our statistics. You can pause the video if you want to read through all of them. But let's have a look. 60% crit chance, 90% crit damage, 85% headshot damage. I will scroll through it. Weapon handling is not great, but all damage weapon bonus. Remember, this is going to be uh, way higher. So don't just forget about that. Okay, we'll scroll through it. Pause the video if you want to have a look and see. Armor on kill 270k, which is very, very nice because of the gunner and the gear set. So that's going to be it for the build. Let's go through a final description in case you guys missed out on what I was meaning. So base weapon damage is going to be huge on this build. Survivability will be very big because we are getting 125% bonus armor from the gear set and the knee pads. Plus, whenever we do get the bonus armor, we are getting intimidate proct at all times, which only works within 10 meters. That's why utilizing it unhinged with this gear set or this build works really well because you're not you know, hindered by the lack of accuracy and stability. So I really do enjoy this build. You have to sweat a bit while you're using it and I enjoy it. I'm trying to put up builds that you know change up your play style and bring something fresh because tu12 is on its way and i want to just try and put out these builds so you guys can have a bit of fun before then then we'll get back to the grindstone and make some insane builds this is more of a fun one it's not the strongest build i've ever made but it is really good and actually surprised me and i do use it from time to time so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll be seeing everyone in the next video peace out guys